Hey YouTube! Hi! Hi, so this is David and Balinka and starring Julian. Yes, say and hi. Say hi, buddy. Hi. Our video is going to be about him, so we have some things we just want to talk about since the birth. He's almost three months old, just what it's been like for us as first time parents. And then we have some video clips we want to show you guys afterwards. Yeah. Too. So, I'm looking at my phone because we have things written down. <laughs> Don't forget. So, you want to start? Well, the birth, um, the experience, what yeah. it was like is. Actually, I described most of the experience on my um, blog, which you can find on my website, fergusonfamily.wix.com. Um, and Look I, in the description field. Yeah. Uh, it was, it was, I don't know, it was amazing. I had no help, no um, anesthesia or, or anything like that, no medical, um, yeah. It was nice, we were the only ones there. It's like this little house that they really kind of designed as a little doctor's office and birthing suite. And it was awesome. They were yeah. so nice. We had two nurses there. Plus, Blinka's mom is a neonatal nurse. My mother was there, and it was amazing. Like Blinka was sweet through the whole process. And I have to say this: when um, there was a point where she's like, "I can't do this," which I guess a lot of mothers go through. And it was when the labor was getting really intense, and she was right before she was going to do the hard pushing. And everyone just all together, like five women in the room, and me were just like, "No, you can do it. You can do it." And she just pushed through it and did it like a champ. And I kept saying after she had the baby, I can't believe you did it. You did it. You really did it. <laughs> it was so cool. And she yeah. did. She just did it like a complete champ. And she was still her sweet self. You know, some people, they say they change when they're having the baby. Bless you. Bless you. Um, she was just completely nice. And uh, the... What I was going to say was, oh, when she was having the baby, the midwife said, okay, remember, like, when you push his head on, I'm going to have you pause for a minute, just try to take a breath and and um, hold still, and I'm going to turn him and pull, you know, the shoulders out, whatever, it's easier. Well, Belinka didn't. When she started pushing, he started coming, Belinka's like, I'm sorry, I just can't stop. I can't stop. I can't. Like, she just kept apologizing to the midwife, and he came out like that. Like, as soon as his head started coming out, like this fish, he just swam on out, and I was just like, and I immediately started crying because I'm a very sensitive person, and it was amazing. It was beautiful, and we were tired because we had been up kind of for two days oh, yeah. with like, I'm really excited, so I just stayed up as soon as she started on the contractions, even though they were minor the night before, so it had been about 48 hours that we were up, so... We kind of had a little nap for an hour at the birthing center and then we got packed up and our moms helped us get back home and it was nice to come home that day. Um, and he just did well and he was a good baby yeah. the whole time. And he, you know, you don't know. You know you're having a baby and people tell you, you know, it's kind of tough. But then we got home with, okay, we've been sleep. Well, it's this whole other world, this whole new concept. Oh, and yeah. You're just tired, and the baby is up every couple hours. And like, yeah. he was really quiet. And I just thought, oh, our baby's different. He's really quiet and sweet. But no, he started crying just like normal, and started going to the bathroom, and you have to change his diapers, and all those things just became real. And you realize you're tired, but it was nice to have our moms the first couple days. It was kind of crowded, but it was good, and we're very thankful that we had. Blinka's mom, who was a nurse, and my mom as well, to come in, and they kind of rotated the first few weeks. Yeah. I mean, definitely, you hear from other parents about these things happening, and we definitely heard it, and I remember reading about it, but it didn't really hit us until he came home, and that mm -hmm. first week was definitely a blur. I yeah. can't remember anything that happened that week. <laughs> He doesn't like standing still. He's yeah. a very, he's a mover and a yeah. little observer, aren't you? Oh, yeah. So, so, so yeah. That it was a blur. Week, yeah. Uh, the first month, I feel like, like, we had to go to the doctors, the pediatrician, like a day or two after he was born, and we're like, do we have to go? Like, we had to take him yeah. in the car seat in the car. And of course, we left the birthing center in the car seat, but it's just still so scary. You're just like, oh, yeah. Like, Can we do this? Like, everything's so new, but. Everything worked out fine. Our pediatrician was so nice. Even though we didn't have the baby traditionally, I got a hospital and we waived some things. You know, we just, we kind of wanted to be more natural. We know people have been having babies for thousands of years and nothing against hospitals, but we just wanted to do things differently and more mm -hmm. 
just kind of what our views were, which is fine. Yeah. So uh, I, I believe you know, I wasn't. I'm not a sick person. Um, I'm pretty healthy. The pregnancy went fine throughout, and I know there are risks that happen. You know, right in the middle of labor, but. Um, we believe that you know everything was going to be just fine and stuff. And everything was, which is nice, because yeah. the the midwife said like they were a quarter of a mile from the hospital. If something go wrong, they take you right away to the hospital. But Blank was just a good, very healthy person, and she had a healthy delivery and a healthy boy, and he's been healthy ever since. And we've been very blessed. And it's crazy. We were talking how like all we fed him is breast milk, or you know, um, Blank is breast milk, and. He stayed alive for three months. It's just amazing yeah. how that works. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're definitely getting used to him, and his personality is starting to show up a little bit more. I mean, they say that I, I can understand why they don't write like in rules for babies because each baby is different, and babies change every day. So, and he's been changing. Um, yeah, the first month, yeah. uh, he was just eyes closed all the time, you'd open them for a second, but he was just this little baby that you just had to take care of, and you, I mean, we loved him, of course, but it's just different, and then all yeah. of a sudden, like, five, six weeks, he starts giving back to you, like, he starts to smile a little bit, his eyes are open longer. Oh, yeah. He was the cutest young. And he has this thing with his eyebrows when he's, like, yeah. really focusing on you. Yeah. And it changes so quickly too. He'll you'll be doing something and he'll start smiling and then a second later he'll change it like that. Yeah. And he's like, What the heck are you doing? <laughs> and now he's just like he wants to take in the world. I take him around our little apartment all the time when he's awake and he just wants to look at everything and look at the oven and the mirror on the wall and the fridge and he's getting strong, holding his head up. And he's yeah. in the sixty seven percentile for his height, so we think he's gonna be pretty tall. Yeah. And, um, it's gonna be a big boy. Yeah. So we're just really, really excited and happy and proud of him. Yeah. Another thing about him is his nails. His darn yeah, nails. He's I can understand. Scratch him, so. Yeah. So as you can see, he has a little scratch mark on his nose where he dug himself mm -hmm. in the middle of the night. Um, <laughs> And as you can see, the baby rules the house. Yep. We've learned. We've learned you just gotta be flexible. He still normally sleeps two to three hours. Sorry, two to three hours. And you don't really want to train a baby what we've read. I mean, people have different opinions, but sleep training and stuff. Like, he's a newborn. He needs his parents. If he cries, he needs you. And we don't want to be those people that super baby their kids, but that's just kind of how it works. Um, and yeah, I don't know. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want to baby him, and we thought for sure Belinka was like, no, he's never coming in our bed. We had a bassinet, we have a crib. Yeah, I was so adamant about that. Yeah. I did not want him sleeping in our bed with us. I seriously, I have this fear of rolling on him or kicking him off yeah. the bed accidentally or punching him in the face. But I don't know, it was just, it just happened. Yeah. And this morning we woke up, he was just in between us in the bed. Like we have this little yeah. space where there's no pillows, <laughs> nothing around him, and he's just sleeping. He looks like a little vampire. Granted, he did take a shot and he had a. A Bad skin, reaction. yeah, skin reaction to it, yeah. which, I mean, it it bothered him. Obviously, he was crying like we've never heard before, mm -hmm. and um, and it bothered us. So we had to let him sleep with us. Yeah, and like I said, I don't really feel like you can spoil a newborn, and he's not a newborn now. But um, this is just what we're choosing for now, so we realize we want to have more kids, we'll see how things go. We're first time parents, we're just a little worried, and yeah. we just want him to have the best life. So we're just trying to take care of him. Slowly, hopefully in a couple months, we'll try to get him back to the crib and his other room. 
every now and then we'll have him take a nap in it, but he just, he can tell the difference, like, yeah. being by a warm body and being in the crib, and, and in the crib you can't put lots of things around him, you know, because that's a dangerous setting if there's something he could get smothered, or, you know, so. Yeah. But he's really a good baby, um, and everyone tells us that, even the doctor, and just, her mom works, you know, with babies, and everyone says he's a good baby. Like, he really, he cries when, and when you know, like, that's one of the things I had to learn at first. I never knew what any of his cries meant, but now you kind of learn, like, okay, he's just tired. He wants to be wrapped up really tight and yeah. swaddled and go to bed. And then he has the cry when he's hungry, and then he has the cry when he's just like, okay, move me. I want to get up and move, you know. Yeah. So, just yeah. like learning. Baby book. We got lots of books from our friends. I don't know if you saw it or baby shower video, oh, yeah. video, but that's what we ask instead of a card, in lieu of a card, bring a book and write in it, so all of our friends and family wrote in a book, and we've been reading a few to him, he's still little, you know, but he's starting to look at things, he's yeah. in those pictures, they have like baby Einstein videos, and we use this praise baby yeah. video, there's one on YouTube, and it's just made for babies, and you see him watching it, and it's just cool. His biggest thing though is he likes to look at us, you know, yeah. and he just likes to look at people. So we've taken around a little bit, but we're still waiting to he gets kind of all of his vaccinations to take him to the grocery store and stuff like where we feel like viruses and sicknesses really are. But we've taken him to church, and uh, actually next Sunday we're going to get him dedicated. All our family's coming up. We're going to get him blessed and dedicated at our church. And so we're excited about that. Yeah. What else? Just the experience, I think. It's been... Definitely difficult. Like the first month, we were, I don't know, I kind of, I think we both had moments. Like I got up with him one time in the middle of the night, and it's not like you're not frustrated or angry because it's just your baby and you're tired. But I remember one time just I started crying when I was holding him, and I was just like, this is so hard. But I think it's just that moment of realization where you're like your life is not your own, and you just have to realize like this is difficult, but um, we can get through this, you know? Yeah. Um. And definitely, through through all of that, we still need to make time for each other. Yes. And we've had a couple date nights, yeah. uh, which were good. Um, we had our friends. Our mom came up. My mom came up the first oh, yeah. time because she lives an hour away. And we got to go out to the movies, which was really fun. Saw yeah. the se second Hunger Games movie. Mm -hmm. And it was nice. Yeah, we had a great time. It was a little scary, but when we got back, everything was fine, you know. We didn't worry about it too much. And then on New Year's Eve, someone gave me a free movie ticket. So we went to the movies and saw The Hobbit. And our pastor and his wife watched the baby, and he did great. Yeah. And so we haven't got to do that twice now since he's been born. And he's almost three months old, so it's been nice. I feel like the biggest thing is, I wanted to talk about all these little things that happened, but the biggest thing is, like, you just can get through things. Like, it seems really hard. It's a life-changing event. Both of us were in school. I work almost full time, so it's just a big change, but yeah. it works out. And the, our biggest thing is just prayer and God helping us get through it, and then our family, of course. And, and He is, He's just a good baby, so yeah, it's totally good. worth it. And yeah, you know, do we want to talk about what He looked like or no? We've had some comments about the baby, um, what He looks like and stuff, oh, yeah. but we're happy with how He looks. and. We figure we'll have more children and they might look differently too. And, um, I remember when Blake was pregnant, I thought we'd have this dark little black looking little baby. Because I think black little babies are adorable, but um, he came out lighter skinned and we're fine with that. And, yeah. I was very surprised actually Yeah. when he came out. I didn't think he would be this light. Yeah, but yeah but I was too. Yeah. And sometimes his hair looks red at the roots, so we'll see. Maybe the Ferguson, yeah. my side of the jeans came out really strong. I didn't think that would happen. Yeah. I thought it would be my side, which was stronger, but no. Because yeah. yes. we have some biracial and racial friends, and normally the Caucasian gene, I don't know what you want to call it, is normally more <laughs> recessive, but that's fine with us. We're happy with how he looks. Yeah. We think he's, he's a beautiful, he's handsome little He's boy. his own little yeah. person. And that's the thing, he's just his own. He's Julian. He looks like Julian, and we're just happy with <laughs> yeah. um, we wanted to ask yes. if you wanted more vlogging videos. Um, I know it's we've kind of been doing yeah. it, but um, if you want us to be more dedicated and doing at least one every week, yeah. just let us know in we'll the comments to. below. Yeah. We will try Comment. to get that going yeah. for you guys. We made a couple, but 
we don't know if this channel is just something we want to start doing, like making a, a every other, I don't know, once a week vlogs. It's hard for us because we're in school, and, you know, but we want to do it. And so we just want to see if there's a demand, I guess. So yeah. if you guys like to, let us know because we're considering it. So just comment below. And um, yeah, because we're happy. Thank you for all of you that have subscribed and watched our videos. We yes. appreciate it. So. Um, it's definitely a fun life for us, and we're glad you guys can enjoy it too. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching, and let yeah. us know if you have any questions. All right. And the rest of this video will also be footage of him, just the last few months. So enjoy. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Touch. No, but just don't pull too hard. Oh, you're so short. Sure. It's okay. Pardon me? Too briskly right away. Just give it a minute. Just give enjoy minute. this moment right now. You still have to birth the placenta. Okay. It's and not it's anything easy. like birthing a baby, though. There are no bones in a placenta. Okay. It's still attached to you. <laughs> Hi. themselves today on October 24th, David and Belinka Ferguson with their newborn son. Nice commentary. And is the lighting okay? Do you see? It? Yeah, it's okay. Oh, there he is. He's precious. And we have a name. Oh, okay. Julian Cambridge Ferguson. Ferguson. Oh, hi, Julian. Hey, Come, Julian. baby. Now we got to tell the rest of the family. Yeah. Yeah, this do. is a little dark, but that's okay. Okay. Oh, how precious. I'm just doing my best for the week. No. <laughs> He's so fragile. Okay, okay I'll okay. let you take over. First time as a pediatrician. So far, so good. Yeah. Hopefully, you don't scream, buddy.
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear baby. Happy birthday to you. Hey, buddy, there he is. Adjusting to the light. Oh. Making faces. Hey, buddy boy. Hey, Hi. let's see those eyes. Oh, can't stay open for long. <laughs> oh. Are you really Julian, wakey, wakey. Where'd this hat go? Oh, yeah, okay. He did pee. Oh, a little bit of everything. A little bit. It's okay, Bubba. There you go, your arms back. Happy little camper. <laughs> because it make one be the It's okay. Thank you. It's okay, Julian. Yeah, it better be easy to wash stain free. <laughs> Look at you. Good little boy. See, he likes it now. Yeah. Good boy. I'm so impressed. I feel like all my friends' pictures of their first baby, he's like screaming his head off. Yeah. You're fine. So if you need to get a Okay. You're fine right there. I just didn't want to like cover the whole thing. Oh, look at you, that is so relaxing. You don't need to hurry up. You need to just soak in the water. Good boy. Bad, but they're just putting Mm-hmm. Vaseline. Vaseline. Oh, when we change him? Yeah, his butt is looking a bit weird. Brushy. Look at you, pretty <laughs> boy. Yes, yes, you're okay. You're okay, buddy. You're okay, buddy. Oh, they got a lot of stuff. That is some. Julian Ferguson. It's okay, Julian. Yeah. You're good as new. Now you're all clean and shiny. Is he? Tired. Yeah, so he's getting heavy. Yeah, I know.
Good, good job. job. Here's our captive audience. We watch it as we cut. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> yeah. I only need like 10 hours to video. To um, work on 10 more hours to get 10 mm -hmm. hours from an agent. Say hi. Hi. I see you. Oh. 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 <laughs> that. Yeah. Oh. What about you? Amima. Just gotta get time signs when we try to do it right away. Hi, Julian. Oh, hi. 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 Oh. Oh, it's Julian. Hi. Yeah. Just as you are before you're gone. To the end. Say hi. Yeah. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. Hi. Tell people what you're saying. Tell the world. Yeah? Say hi, Mom. Say hi, Mom. Yeah. Yeah. 
Say hi, mommy. Say hi, mom. Say hi, everyone. There he is. Yep, he's beautiful. We love you. Welcome to the world. Yeah, welcome to the world, Julian. We've been waiting for you. Yeah.